What did you see in those last few possessions in overtime that allowed the Celtics to take that lead? Um, obviously, a very good player making the right plays. That pass to the left corner for Horford, for Horford was impressive, uh, but I give our guys a lot of credit uh, with the effort um, that they showed in this game, and we gave ourselves a chance against a very good team. I think we had the lead pretty much the whole game. It comes down to uh, having the same amount of turnovers and them scoring 20 out of our turnovers and we scoring seven out of their turnovers. So we got to keep shooting the ball. Uh, felt like 38 threes was not, not enough. And uh, we got tired right there. We still got to find a, find a way to get to our spots and let it fly. And, uh, you know, it's not always going to be pretty. Uh, but we have to keep buying into it because when we shot and we missed it, uh, we were able to offensive rebound uh, those second chance points. We still won that battle. So you keep missing threes, you keep crashing the glass. Coming out of that timeout, um, just what was the play call uh, that you wanted to see when you guys got that shot clock violation? Uh, the play was um, a little too close to the corner. Um, so obviously that makes it a little bit more challenging. Uh, it's good to get into those plays at the end because, uh, you know, they're a very good physical team, a team that can switch everything and disrupt. Uh, and that's why I wanted to see how guys could create their leads to catch uh, and screen your own instead of, like, letting them push you all the way out. Obviously we didn't execute well enough. CT had the ball right there against the one of the their best defenders are a good defender um, and we didn't get the shot on time but uh, I was happy with the shots that we got down the stretch um, Doe got a great open look um, and and we scored we were right there the whole time and overtime so you know like I said proud of the guys uh, we have to understand why we lost this game and taking care of the ball in that third quarter was a big part of it because with scoring 27 points uh, we turned it over five times in that quarter um, so we got to be better right there and I got to help this guys uh, I got to help this guys so tomorrow we have another opportunity when you uh, handily beat them on the boards and I think you had him almost miss 43, 43s or close to 43s. Um, I mean, does it really come down to just not being able to get a handle on them in transition a couple times? Uh, Tatum got out in transition and got downhill. I mean, is that does this game really come down to that? I mean, I got a wide of film. I don't know right now the amount of points that it was in transition, but I feel like either turnovers or missed layups, usually those missed layups are like, similar to turnovers and turn into run outs the other way. So I would have to watch the film, but sometimes you miss those layups, those are good shots and they run the other way because they're, you know, like a good running team. Uh, we knew it and obviously when you had turnovers uh, for not being spaced properly or whatever the case may be and they run out of those turnovers, that's when you get hurt and that's how you lose games. And just looking at these numbers is, you know, like that 13 point differential right there, It's it can be part of a part of the game